Well, it looks like I did it. I have zero Neo points in the bank and 93 Neo points on hand. After all this time, I should be able to finally try and get the Soup Fairy avatar. Back in October, I had 11 million Neo points and 160 avatars. But what's life without goals? I traded my riches for avatars, and soon enough, I'll have all the expensive ones knocked out. We're now in December, and I have 202 avatars. Now that I'm back at the bottom, I hope to first get the Soup Fairy Avatar, then demystify the process of getting filthy Neopets rich. Thankfully, the Soup Fairy doesn't take into consideration your stock portfolio. Uh-oh, this might take a while. I was really hoping I would stop by once and immediately get the Avatar. Considering the amount of effort it took me to get down to this many Neo points without arbitrarily wasting them, this might be the most expensive avatar. Think about it, I've had 11 million Neo points and now I have 93. A random event could jeopardize this process. As soon as I get this avatar, I'm going to rapidly clean out my safety deposit box. Even though I got the pack rat avatar years ago, I have well over 2,000 unique items to my name. These items include pet pet paintbrushes and exotic morphing potions. Why would I want to get rid of all these items? Well, I really don't care for clutter. I only want to possess things that make me happy in real life or online. I'd much rather have Neo points than piles of items that have no use. Or maybe I'll start collecting things I do like. All I know is that right now I have a lot of items I don't want. I'm going to use, sell, or discard all the items I have. I'm enjoying Neopets a lot more since I've started working on my avatars. I don't know how many I'm actually going to get, but I'll keep trying. Most of the remaining ones are stamps, pet pets, holiday related, or games. Eventually I should work my way to just the games. It's a little frustrating that there are so many avatars I cannot obtain because they're retired, but that's all part of playing a game that's no longer in development. Speaking of Neopets not being in development anymore, I've gotten a lot of questions about this lately. People want to know why I still play Neopets or how I can look past how poorly it aged. My videos used to drag Neopets through the mud constantly. I hardly said anything positive. I was upset by how poorly it was being managed. I want people to play and enjoy other virtual pet games. But not covering Neopets would be a huge oversight. It defines the genre and has great complexity. When I watch the videos where I say nothing but bad things about this game that I grew up playing, I feel like a jerk. It's obvious that it hasn't aged well. I've said it so many times, I feel like a broken record. I continue to play because there are still things to do, and I love the nostalgia. But I'm going to keep playing this until they take it offline. You're welcome to join me and watch along. I just wanted to clear that up. Another thing on the note of development and management. A lot of users have been frozen lately. I've received a lot of questions about getting your account back. Here's what I hear to be the best way to handle the situation. Immediately file a ticket to get your account back. I think this requires setting up a new account. Do this as soon as possible. Comment on Neopet's Facebook page with your ticket number and a short explanation of your issue. Do this as soon as possible. Keep reaching out to Neopets through their social media accounts. Timeliness is everything in this situation. The sooner you pester them, the sooner you can get back into your account. From what I understand, the current wave of accounts being frozen includes accounts that haven't changed their passwords since 2012. I hope that helps. Let me know what you think of my Neopets goals and philosophy. In other news, I'm traveling to my parents' house for Christmas. I may already be there or in the process of getting there by the time you see this video. I'm going to keep working on my videos, but you may notice a change in audio quality. Sorry, I can't afford to take all of my equipment home with me. Hopefully it won't impede your ability to enjoy my videos. I will still stream this Sunday from 2pm to 3pm Eastern Standard Time on my side channel, Simmer Dually Live. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to know when I release more videos, and consider donating to my Patreon if you want to keep this channel going and make my Christmas. 
we hit 1,750 subscribers today. So it is a huge day over on this channel. I'm still trying to figure out what I really wanted to do to celebrate. If you have any ideas, let me know. All right, thanks. Thank <laughs> you.